friends and welcome back to my channel Goose Goose Guess. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow, it's already a bad start. <laughs> okay, so welcome back. Guess who's finally back on track? Well, not really, but I'm trying. This is my first attempt to do anything. Whole weekend long I was in my bed. Finally, I feel like I can do something. And that's something I have so much planned course I need to do. First of all, all of my plants are really thirsty. So today I will be watering all of my plants. I also found more plants that have trips. So I need, you know, to look through all of my plants and just, you know, find even more infested plants most likely. I also need to get rid of some yellow leaves on my plants. I need to stake my variegated monstera. So this video will consist out of many different things and I'll try my best to film everything for you because I actually really love to watch other people do some plant tasks, you know, because sometimes I find something really helpful the way they are doing something, if that makes sense. So I hope this will be also kind of relaxing, kind of maybe helpful or just a perfect, you know, background video for you to turn on while you're doing your plant course or anything. And yes, I am still wearing this awesome 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 handband from Gosha. I just like I said like I promised actually I'm wearing your clothes and your stuff more often than you would think like wait huh huh remember <laughs> But anywho, yes, so we will start from houseplant watering and then we'll go through all of those different tasks. So buckle up, grab snacks and we are doing that because lots of work is actually waiting. So I want to prepare this place for some new houseplants because I saw some awesome new specimens in one of my favorite houseplant shops called Cambarinas Gala. So I'm really excited to go there and buy some new plants. But before doing that, I want to clean the space. I want to, you know, make it safe for new houseplants because I just do not want to bring a new plant and infest it with trips, you know? So let's do that. Okay guys, fun fact, your houseplants can actually scare the heck out of you. So I have this Euphorbia leuconera over here in the background and it stopped blooming. I mean, it finished blooming and has all of those tiny pots with seeds and those pots are exploding right now as we're speaking. It's maybe a couple seconds ago happened one explosion and it's always scares the heck out of me because you're sitting calmly no one is around and from nowhere it's like something you know flies at you and it's pretty scary so <laughs> fun fact your house plants can be pretty spooky you know but anywho i have my watering can so oh so i will just go through all of my plants and see you know, while watering, I will also be checking on trips on them. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I won't, found, I won't find a lot of those plants, but I already noticed that one of my variegated monsteras have trips. So this is so disappointing and sad because this monster was thriving. It was thriving all, su all summer long. During the summer, it gave me four new leaves, which is awesome. I'm so sorry, I'm so shiny in this video. Like, what the hell is going on? But anywho, let's do that. Let's do that, guys. And, huh? Can we appreciate this leaf? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? How gorgeous it is. Gorgeous. Yeah. You saw nothing. Okay, so as always, I am starting from my monsteras over here in the corner. No idea if you can see me, but I am over here. So these guys are really thirsty all of the time because they have so many leaves that they need to take care of. So I always take my time while watering these guys because they're big and they, I want them to be happy, you know? It's actually giving me a new leaf right now over here, which is so, so cool as well. So I really wouldn't want them to have trips, you know? But I think, I think this one is fine. Okay, well, this one seems pretty fine to me. So that's, that's good. That's really good. And this baby, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of this Monstera. Oh, I love it. 
love it. Do you talk with your plants when you're watering them? Because I do. I'm like, oh my gosh, you're doing amazing. What a good job. Or like, dude, come on. You can do it. Be more happy. I am taking care of you. What? What is wrong with you? Be happy, please. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Okay, so right now probably I will stop mumbling and put some music for you guys. Huh? What do you think? I knew I said I won't be talking right now, but these are the seeds, seed pods that are exploding. And they're like everywhere. So this is pretty spooky. So I took this one off so it won't explode, probably. Most likely, maybe, I don't know. The cool thing is that trips really don't like euphorbias that I noticed, right? That they have, they really don't like sensivirias because they have really woody leaves, you know, those tough, tough suckling to leaves. So I never had trips on my sensivirias, which is another big plus for these plants. So I'm pretty confident that they won't be infested, you know? And since right now we have autumn and pretty dark, days i do not give them a lot of water so you know i water my zz my sensitivity is pretty mildly right now yeah this one looks fine okay and i am out of my first can of water let's get more Alright guys, I'm not sure if you can see me, but I have a quick task. I have this yellowing leaf on my Sansevieria, so I want to cut it off because it doesn't look good at all, even though it's autumn, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna do that. For some reason, Sansevieria's leaves are always so difficult to cut, but done that. I actually was a little bit worried when I saw this yellow leaf, right? But it seems like it's just the only one who is yellowing. All other leaves on this plant are looking fine and healthy, so I'm not that worried. Okay, guys, so while I still have your attention, I want to share some... Um, I want to share one project I did. Who's your baby? <laughs> baby Rocky wants to say hello, right? Oh, he's so cuddling, sleep. You want, oh, you want to come? Oh, okay, okay. He want to sit on my lap right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can't see it, but he's sitting on my lap right now. Such a good boy. Oh my gosh, baby. <laughs> okay, this is... Oh. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> okay, well, that, that was fun. I can bet my back will say thank you after a couple minutes, but right now, let's just go with it. Oh my gosh, you can chew, you can chew. Oh, 
music. So serious, baby. Okay. So I want to share with you a um, project experiment that I did with a house plant. I'm sorry, right now I'm out of breath of falling. <laughs> oh, okay, that was stressful. So I actually love avocados. I love Scott from Scott grows the avocado tree, right? And I also decided to grow some avocados from seed myself because why the heck not? I have some free space in my kitchen. So I was like, okay, what the heck? Let's do it, right? So this seed have been growing in my care for months right now. As you can tell, the roots on this one are really ready to go to the potting soil. I mean, to the pot itself. I just need some soil. Just like I said, I still have no soil. <laughs> anyway. So what I decided to do with this one, I decided to play around and I made a knot with it. And for some people it might look, might look cruel. I get it. For me, myself, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. But I also always love how people play around with their plants and make bonsai trees and, you know, prune them and make them bushier and the stem just gets thicker and thicker. So I thought, Let's do this. Let's try it myself and see how this will go. And actually, I think it looks cute. What do you think? What do you think? Looks pretty weird and quirky, right? So soon I will be reporting it and giving you more updates about it because for now it looks great. I actually used some metal wire to keep it that way. And right now I took it off this morning and it stays like this. So I'm real proud about it. Pretty proud plant and dog mama. Okay, so since we did all of the watering, I actually did some out of the camera, like my big house plants and stuff. Right now we need to prune some of those yellowing leaves. So once again, prepare some more snacks because we'll still kick in it, you know? So I will get you up close to the plants, most likely not to myself. I'm sweating from this fall, guys. Wow. Wow, that was scary. <laughs> so dramatic, right? But anywho, okay. Let's cut some yellow leaves off. Let's do this. Okay, also I have this Phalaenopsis orchid that has been in my background for a while and these blooms are really on the really really end of its life so what I'm gonna do I'll just cut them off I won't cut the stem that is flowering itself I will cut off just the blooms because you know what people say that they can rebloom from those same stems and I actually have a proof for you for that but I will share it in my future videos about orchids or something because I have another Phalaenopsis orchid that actually has from note like this one right from a note like that it has a new bran branches growing up so it's really cool to capture you know and to see and i'm filming it right now so soon prepare for more orchid content most likely but right now i want to cut them off and get rid of them because these are blooms and they might have you know some toxic stuff for my baby rocky and i do not want that but all in all gorgeous beautiful orchid okay Okay, so last thing left to do is to stake my variegated monstera and I do not have any moss pole or anything so I'll just use a simple stick for that because that's all I have for now and it will work. So let's do that. Huh? 
do the bisonette. Okay. I'm actually pretty afraid to damage any roots. That looks good. Well, that was quick and I think I did a good job, right? Right. Okay, let me put it back and I will chat with you. All right, guys, I did as much as I could. Actually, that fall is really feeling right now in my back. So most likely I'll just finish this video right now and go and, you know, lay down a little bit because that was kind of kind of funny but also pretty painful <laughs> so so yeah that is this is pretty unexpected because i still have some plants that i wanted you know to propagate not to prop not to propagate but to prune because they have some yellowing leaves but i will leave this task for the next time i mean those yellow leaves are not hurting anybody they just you know don't look that aesthetic which is fine with me i mean i took off a bunch of yellow leaves so I already feel like a winner today <laughs> okay guys enough mumbling this is probably where i will leave thank you so thank you so much for joining me i had so much fun it actually always feels so good to work on your plants you know check them all out and you know see how they're doing how they're growing and i was happy to take along so before leaving you let me teach you another language lesson and today we Okay, since we were cutting off some yellow leaves, let me teach you how to see color yellow in Russian and in Lithuanian. So if you want to see color yellow in Russian, you need to say ROLTY. Once again, ROLTY. Oh my gosh, the sun is intensifying right now. And if you want to say color yellow in Lithuanian, you need to say GELTONA. Once again, GELTONA. <laughs> so sorry! Wow, it's real bright. Anywho guys, thank you so much for watching, I had so much fun and I hope you did as well. So let's chat in the comments, leave some yellow emojis at the very end. You know why? You know the drill, if you don't, if you're new on my channel, sometimes I ask people who watch till the very, very end to leave some kind of emoji. So in that way, I will know that you watch till the very, very end and that will make me very happy because I know that you're really special and you want to listen to me all the way in the road. Okay. <laughs> okay, no mumbling. I hope to see you very soon, guys. Take care and bye.